Good morning. For today's video, our topic is about dividing decimals up to four decimal places by one tenth, one hundred, and one thousand mentally. Math six, week eight, quarter one, part one. And to start our discussion today, let us have first our word problem of the day. Tony and Tina went to the meat section of the supermarket. They bought 12 and 75 hundredths kilogram of pork. When they came home, they divided the whole meat into one tenth and put it in plastic bags for future use. How many bags of meat were there? Again, let us read the problem. Tony and Tina went to the meat section of the supermarket. They bought 12 and 75 hundredths kilogram of pork. When they came home, they divided the whole meat into one tenth and put it in plastic bags for future use. How many bags of meat were there? And to solve the problem, we need to follow the steps in dividing decimals by one tenth, one hundred, and one thousand. Let's proceed with our first example. We have twelve and seventy-five hundredths divided by one tenth. Step number one, count the number of decimal places in our divisor. We have 12 and 75 hundredths divided by 1 tenth. In this case, our divisor is 1 tenth. So how many decimal places do we have in 1 tenth? Very good. We have one decimal placed in 1 tenth. Next, step number two, move the decimal point to the right based on the number of decimal places in our divisor. So 12 and 75 hundredths divided by one tenth. So again, how many times do we need to move 12 and 75 hundredths? going to the right or how many times the decimal point in 12 and 75 hundredths so we need one or we need to move it once so the answer is 127 and 5 tenths so for our final answer we have 127 and 5 tenths bags of meat. Let us now proceed with our second example. We have 8 and 39 hundredths divided by 100. Again, step number 1, count the number of decimal places in our divisor. So we have 8 and 38 hundredths divided by 100. Again, what is our divisor here? Very good. It is 100. And how many decimal places do we have in 100? Exactly. We have two decimal places. Let's proceed with step number two. Move the decimal point to the right based on the number of decimal places in our divisor. So 8 and 39 hundredths divided by 100. So how many times do we need to move the decimal point in 8 and 39 hundredths? Twice. So 1 and 2. So we have now 839. 
So our final answer for our second example is 839. Let's proceed with our third example. We have 9 and 1,921 ten thousands divided by 1,000. What is our first step? Very good. We have to count the number of decimal places in our divisor. In this case, we have 9 and 1,921 ten thousands divided by 1,000. What is our divisor in our third example? Excellent. It is 1,000. And how many decimal places do we have in 1,000? Yes, you are correct. It, we have three decimal places. Let us proceed with step number two. Move the decimal point to the right based on the number of decimal places in our divisor. So 9 and 1,921 ten thousands divided by 1,000. So how many times do we need to move the decimal point in 9 and 1,921 ten thousands? We need to move it three times. So 1, 2, and 3. So the answer is 9,192 and 1 ten. So for our third example, the final answer is 9,192 and 110. This time, you try. It is your time to answer the given exercises. Divide mentally. 8 and 56 hundredths divided by one hundredths five four three two one your answer is very good it is 856 let's proceed with our second example again divide mentally nine and seven tenths divided by one thousands Five, four, three, two, one. Your answer is very good. Nine thousand seven hundred. And now let's proceed with our last example. Divide mentally twelve and forty five. Hundreds divided by one tenth. Five, four, three, two, one. Your answer is one hundred twenty four and five tenths. Very good. Always remember how do we divide decimals up to four decimal places by one tenth, one hundred, and one thousand mentally to divide decimal by one tenth one hundred and one thousand mentally we have to follow the following steps step number one count the number of decimal places in our divisor step number two move the decimal point to the right based on the number of decimal places in our divisor And for our matanong of the day, divide mentally 8 and 56 hundredths divided by 100. Number 2, 45 and 79 hundredths divided by 1,000. Number 3, 64 and 2 tenths divided by 110. And number 4, 73 hundredths divided by 1,000. So again, for our matanong of the day, divide mentally 8 and 56 hundredths divided by 100. 
to 45 and 79 hundredths divided by 1,000. Number 3, 64 and 2 tenths divided by 110. And last, 73 hundredths divided by 1,000. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye!